Essential thermostimia is one of what we consider benign myeloproliferative neoplasms because the life expectancy is normal. A uh, typical patient is in 60s and the life expectancy is measured in decades, a couple of decades. However, the problem is that people may die uh, from number one problem, a blood clot. So when we assess the ET patient, we typically assess the risk of having a thrombosis. And uh, some patients are considered based on some factors like uh, age or history of blood clot or presence of ejective mutation, for example to have a high risk of blood clot, and we would like to decrease it by implementing a cytoreductive therapy. That uh, means that we would like to give a patient's medications to decrease the blood cell count, platelets, and uh, if uh, elevated, also white cells. And with that control of the blood cell count, we would like to decrease the thrombotic risk uh, and make people enjoy life fully. Um, now, what do we do then when we decide on cytoreductive therapy? We use hydroxyurea, we may use anagrelide, but in this setting, there is also a need for better therapies that would really decrease that risk further, uh, control the blood cell count, and perhaps even change the bone marrow environment. In that setting, there is underway at the moment, a phase three randomized study comparing two agents, a new one called ROPEG interferon, uh, a biological agent uh, about six months ago approved as a therapy for a similar condition called polycythemia vera. And ROPEG interferon is being compared to a standard second line agent anagrelide. The goal of this uh, global randomized phase three study is to see whether in second line setting after hydroxyurea in people that have elevated platelets and elevated white cells, whether ROPEG interferon would be better than anagrelide and if so, then be approved as official uh, second-line uh, medication for therapy of patients with high-risk ET for thrombosis. There are other investigational are being piloted. Uh, small pilot studies are being done with a, a medication called Bomedestat, which is the LSD1 inhibitor, epigenetic modifier, and also a pilot study with a medication called Pelabresib which is the BET inhibitor, another epigenetic modifier. These two agents are in a, a small pilot study to see whether they would provide perhaps extra benefit in patients with uh, ET that may not be uh, responding well to standard practice medications that I described earlier on. So there is a need perhaps to enhance our ability to control thrombotic risk and perhaps through biological modifications, change the bone marrow environment, and perhaps even prevent what I have not uh, mentioned so far, but it's also of a concern, a progression from ET to malofibrosis to acute myeloid leukemia. So uh, much more to do for a very large group of people that tend to do well, but some of them don't, and this is the area of unmet need. Thank you.